All right, guys, we're back. This time, all the glitters 2.0, high rank game, uh, 20 plus. Uh, it was a bit of trouble with the lobbies here, uh, as the updates, the engine updates, were rolling out. So we have a c couple of moderators here, Behirith and Flo, just making sure everything is working as intended, and uh, we're just having a good and uh, game without bugs, pretty much. A lot of these players we already know: Ali 2K, Cygnus. Archie, I love my cookies, Ski Bad, Dankist, Big Allman, Spojav. Uh, we have a rank 40 Russian player. I have never seen this guy before. He's pretty high rank. 8D, let's call him 8D. We have Zarks T, Swaglord, Pow Pow Strikes, Janky, Alex Clark, Megatron, and Goody. Uh, pretty standard start here. Front lines, some decisions. Who's gonna go, who's gonna tech, who's gonna do hard uh, tier 2, which basically means you just go tier 2, you do some economy and you don't jump to tier 3, you just make a lot of T2 units to help. Uh, mountains obviously going to be contested a lot by the, by both sides. If we see some bombers, that could be very good. That could be really helpful in conquering these mountains as they're always pretty much the weak spot. Cygnus going for a vehicle lab. Spojab going for a bot lab. We can see, we can see a forward Vehicle lab from Spojav and Dankist, I'm guessing, but he already has a vehicle lab. So he can do a forward bot lab. Bot labs are always pretty good since you have those res bots, which are always great for reclaiming metal, for resurrecting units, and are just overall really, really good to have. Scouts just going out, getting some vision. This Lazarus could be sniped out. Oh uh, yeah, th they see it. They're gonna go for it. They will not allow it to get that metal to get that resource that uh, is on the field here. And that is a lot of metal actually. There's like, mm, not sure. Yep, there's around 260 metal here. And here in the middle, there's like 340 metal. That is, there's a lot of metal. Uh, that's why it is called all the glitters. <laughs> I'm guessing all the glitters is gold. Some gold rocks here, but I guess that's just metal. Not too much, but good enough. To produce a couple of units as you saw in the middle there's a lot and these metal tractors as well 3.2 pretty big pretty important for the laners to hold um 8d it's gonna be backline on mountains here i'm very interested as to how he plays this uh, he has janky rank 24 it's gonna be his front making a lot of these grunts and a res bot as well we'll see where he goes he, he probably will not opt to eco as this is a very contested spot, there's going to be a lot of fighting, a lot of warfare there. So he is going to be focusing into holding that line. If you have good static defense there, uh, maybe a couple of those agitators or gauntlets, that is going to be pretty good. But Denkis is already in position here, pushing a bit more with his incisors. Some grunts from AD are coming, but Denkis already got this position in. Deku sends only one incisor to scout out the area. He's going to find a lot of these grunts here. Trying to get him away. That is good. Gets him out with low HP. Gets the information that he needs. Papa strikes. Going aggressive here. There's a couple of grunts that slipped through from Spojav. What happened here? Uh, okay. That was the commander from Alex Clark. Going up in the air. 2000 metal. Trying to speed up his economy. Let's check Archie here. He already deconstructed his lab, making these advanced solar collectors, which are pretty good since the wind here uh, usually is at pretty low numbers, even though the wind risk is 10.4. Uh, it's always pretty, pretty bad on this map. Not sure why, but Papa Strikes gets his commander destroyed. Not the greatest thing to see. At least Swaglord and Papa Strikes is units are going to scramble and get here in, on time to reclaim that metal. Do we have a reclaim bot coming? Yep, we do have from AD. That is going to be pretty big. He needs that metal to keep producing, keep constructing. Not moving his commander yet. Going to destroy. That is going to be a lot of metal income for him. Is it in good range? Okay, that was pretty calculated. That was very calculated, actually. That bot, that res bot could have been destroyed if he was like a millimeter closer. Took a bit of metal, but he's going to leave it, I guess. Some for Swaglord, as he does not have a lot. That is very considerable from 8D. Going to get his lab up very quick. A lot of wind going on right now. And, uh, ooh. 
A lot of raiding ca happening from Zarks. Very, very good position. That is that is a lot of energy just getting completely destroyed. Big Allman is in a bit of a pickle. 45 energy income. That is going to be a problem. Alex Clark, not sure. He's only at um, 9 middle income. But um, that is fine. Recycling that. Recycling these uh, solar panels. Got a lot of the metal from the commander. Making the T2. Spojav getting a, a good front line here. Not sure what these windmills are doing here, but that is fine. Just have a couple of these T1 tanks from Janky. Not sure why he's not constructing a front line here. Or at least getting these metal extractors up. You should not leave uh, these metal extractors hanging. This is like six untaken uh, metal extractors. Pretty strong push from Denkis. This could be trouble for Yankee as his commander is not where he is supposed to be. That is a big problem. We do not have units here. We have some turrets, but will they be enough? They will be enough to hold this surge of incisors, but the next one will be a problem. Yankee should move his, or Janky, however you like it, should move his commander here to help out. AD should make T2 units. Zarks made very, very good progress here. And doing a flanking, doing a bit of flanking here from the side. Avoiding these units from Big Allman. He is not expecting it. That is going to be a lot more economy hit by this squad of units, squad of tanks. Ollie doing a bit of shurikens, but they are not finding anything at the moment. No impact yet. And oh my god, so many of these brutes coming through for Dankist and obviously mountains nobody likes mountains mountains are the worst position on this map and no one actually knows how to play it well other than Teddy who I saw a couple days back I have some bombers coming out from Archie but uh, these tanks are pretty dangerous they got a turret constructed and Zarx is not watching his units that is pretty unfortunate he could have destroyed could have destroyed at least this airfield aircraft plant and all the both these tanks go down still have a couple stouts coming through here big almond not in range to degun there's gonna be a lot of eco damage yet again just got his energy back up and all these converters are going up in smoke destroying the destroying the energy income and metal income yet again yankee finally in position to to help prevent this push we already have some fiends coming out from 8d which is pretty good have some bombers from Archie, but I don't think they will find anything yet. Have some of these whistlers, which are good for anti-air and ground as well, but not doing a lot of damage. Just one bomber. Swaglord already has a Sam site. Getting a Zar out there. Just gonna be pretty good. Getting this commander wreckage from Zarks as well. That is good to be secured. See what Ollie's doing here. Ollie reclaiming his T2 lab, getting the metal storage up. Yep, that is the that is the right course of action. Lacks a bit of build power, but I'm guessing that is fine. But nine minutes, nine and a half minutes, uh, going a bit slower for him. Dank is going all the way through, getting into the mountains. Same as Zarks. Megatron trying to trade commanders. This could be a pro. Up, oh, almost trades commanders. Uh, destroys Spojaz's front line. It's going to be a problem. Papa strikes and Megatron are here to secure this commander wreckage, to secure this spot. That was a good uh, commander bomb. And we have some bombers from Archie, some fighters. Back them up. There's no anti air. Destroying the only anti-air turret that is getting up. And yep, it is going to go down. It will not come up. It is a problem since Zarks does not have his commander here. It is going to spell trouble. We do not have any anti-air units. Finally making a shredder. And we have some anti-air units here. Which is going to be fine. Uh, some windmills go down. We have anti-air countering these aircraft. But we got economy damage for Zarks. See 8D getting some units out there. 
Which is pretty good. Chasing away Dankist. And these bombers. Okay, they were still going, but they finally got shot down. Alligators, what are we doing here? Not sure what alligators are gonna do here. Maybe he, he miss input the unit. <laughs> but <laughs> this unit is not the greatest choice here. 480 metal. Maybe he knows something that we do not. But um, not the greatest unit overall. Shurikens from Ollie. Just backing up. Uh, backing Dinks up here. Cygnus has a lot of these blitzes. And we see a Zar from Swag Lord. That is going to be pretty good. These units cannot contest. The Tsar here, one shots, light T1 tanks, that is very very big damage, very big AoE. This is a pretty open field, maybe these incisors can go in and look for some damage. We do not have a radar here, Zaglord does not have a radar, this is a problem. We're not seeing units as we should, we have a radar here, but I guess it has some good line of sight, but it could be a better one. Zara coming this way to help have some dragons as maws and uh, they will prevent the push here but um, Cygnus may find entry here as there's only two turrets we got tanks from Yankee going to the side realizing what is going on going on and uh, one turret goes down the second one goes down this could be trouble these tanks pretty weak blitzes we have some more grunts coming through and we should use this to our advantage as they do not have any units defending at the moment so they should push this position we saw a lot of units coming through will AD see this this is a problem he has some mines over here and uh, yep indeed these tanks are gonna go down that is one more mine and this tank is like three percent that is very good very fast uh, mine planting from him let's see this okay that is good that is pretty good but we have some more units flowing through. This is a problem. Yep, he's just... It is pretty big trouble to leave these... Uh, to let them raid like this and not counter, not attack there, not assault their forward position. They just threw a lot of units, a bunch of units here to do this raid. And they have nothing left on the front line. This is a completely empty field. Only suppose you have having a couple of grunts and some fiends coming in. And like two or three bulls. I have a couple of shurikens for Ollie, but that is like the, the, the maximum thing that, that they have. That is the only thing they have, pretty much. Should have seen a like a, a push or something. These tanks finally dealing with these uh, fiends and grunts. Not letting them do a lot of damage. We still have the commander here for... That is Alex Clark. Not sure why he did not take more metal from it well he is sitting on 4,000 metal so not gonna be a problem getting his, getting his fusion reactor up gonna be good anti-nuke as well I have an anti-nuke for like all four of these players yep all these are protected as, except the mountain position but I think we're gonna have one we already no we don't have one yet I have some alligators and incisors going through these alligators are they actually good? Let me, let me see. I mean, oh, they actually, no, they don't shoot two at a time. I thought they did. There's just a bit more units. They shoot pretty fast. That's 0 0.8. That's good damage. That is kind of arguable. That is almost the same as the Tiger. I guess they're just better raiders. I mean, this commander will go down. That is a problem. Oh, and uh, yep, it will go down. That is a pretty big problem for these mountainside players. We have some tigers coming in from Goody. We'll see if he makes anything happen. He's going T2 vehicles, which is pretty good. Getting some Quakers, mobile artillery, pretty cheap. And uh, pretty good range. Good damage as well. 8D. Getting a lot of these fiends at the ready here. Getting some more mines. 
make some more constructors. That is pretty good. A lot of these grave robbers. Made the metal extractor yet again. Which is pretty good. Let's see what Ollie is up to. Getting a lot of these construction turrets here. 16 minutes in, getting his advanced fusion reactor. That is that is very good. Not sitting on a lot of resources. But that will not be a problem as there's 7%, 6% left for this advanced fusion reactor. Has a, has some fiends of his own. Getting him up with the with his twitcher. And we have a lot of units coming in from Spojav. This is not going to be a problem. He's just going to run into this fortification. A lot of Mausers, a lot of everything. Those are just basic T1 grunts and T2 fiends. And 8D. Going to run into a couple of tanks from Dankist. Going to notice them. But we have some grunts. Going to try and hold the push here. Nothing else, really. Just a couple of mines. Uh, we have fiends coming back. That is pretty good. Let's check what Cookies is doing. Getting a radar vehicle, getting a radar jammer as well. It only has these bulls. These are not the most ideal combination for these uh, radars and uh, jammers. Have some. We have some jaguars coming in from Cygnus. But again, they're going to be met with heavy resistance. A lot of these Mausers, a lot of artillery. A lot of the fortifications, Dragon's Maws, which is pretty good for units that are rushing and not paying that much attention. That is just devastating for T1, T2 units. Mausers, pretty good. Um, good like like the Quakers, having a bit more range and a bit more DPS, I think, but a bit slower. Yeah, a bit more uh, DPS, but a bit slower than the Quakers. And obviously Quakers... Costing 10 more metal and uh, around 800 energy less. And I love my cookies strengthening this front line. It's going to be good. But we'll see how long it holds as Pow Pow strikes. Starting to get a lot of these Sheldons out. Megatron getting a lot of these Mausers out as well. This is a problem. We do not have a jammer here. So these, these uh, artillery units are free to fire at will. Getting a rattlesnake up by these consoles. Mausers don't see it on time, so this rat rattlesnake is going to be big. We don't have a jammer here either. So this rattlesnake is going to lay down fire. This is going to be big trouble for this side of the for this side of the front line. Have some EMP bombers, I'm guessing from Ollie. Nope, that is from Archie. We have two air players for this side, and there we go. We have Marauder Rush for Ski Bat. This could be catastrophic, as we do not have a lot of units to deal with this at all. We have some bulls. These Marauders are just going to keep running. These bulls should not present a problem. A lot of these fighters going down just by these Marauders, which have the light anti air guns but they're pretty fine against t1 fighters and this is just gonna be a lot of damage done by these marauders it's a big problem not sure why they're going for the fusion reactor first should be going for the build power but that is that is fine nonetheless goody trying to get there trying to degun but he is a bit too late this is this could be trouble for goody and uh, actually it is it is a pretty big problem here these marauders have not been completely contested yet we have some shurikens coming in but they will not be that great against these Marauders. They do have light anti-air. And uh, this damage could be very big. We don't have any advanced fusion reactors. We have some just regular ones. But still, it's going to get blown up. Goody is almost out of the picture. Pretty much is. Also gets his advanced vehicle plan destroyed. This is a pretty big problem. The, the mountains were not held. The way they were supposed to, and Goody is just completely suffering here. These Marauders are still going, just laying siege 
to all the backline economy. It's just catastrophic. Will we see anything from any answer from Alex Clark trying to get up some gunships, but these marauders just still going so fast, so hard to catch up. Not even fiends can get to them. All these windmills are gonna go up in smoke. And this and this anti-nuke as well. Will we see this go down? Nope. Actually, Alex Clark gets lucky there. Let's not get his units destroyed. And we have uh, we have these marauders going around the entire map. <laughs> And three more are alive. They're coming towards 8D's base. But we have some twin guards here. They will not go through. This will not be a problem for 8D. Alex Clark gets lucky as well. And Goody is just completely out of the picture. He's going to take a lot of time to rebuild this. No energy at all. Getting this fusion reactor up. It, he, he got lucky that his uh, vehicle plant and all these advanced metal extractors and such have been... Uh, just destroyed. They were not like completely shattered like this, so they can't be rebuilt, revived by these by resbots, by cookies. Starting an assault here, having a lot of these beamers, which is a pretty interesting way to approach. Uh, a lot of these Mausers just laying down siege. We have a jammer here, but um, if it goes down, and it probably will go down, that is going to be a problem. Do we have any? We do have a couple of those. We have anti-air as well. A lot of these shredders, but not sure if they are if they are needed that much. That uh, rocket was pretty good from this ambassador. Actually, negotiator. Those Mazers just staying in one place. Pushing at the moment, which is good, but this is a pretty much a uh, very back and forth game for both teams. No one getting the upper hand just yet. It's a lot of damage being dealt to both sides, but these Marauders, man, did they do well. Very very well played from Skibat. That is going to slow Goody down by a lot. Very good raid. And Alex actually losing these windmills and the Citadel, the, the anti-nuke. Not sure what happened there. Maybe one Marauder stayed or not sure. Not sure how that happened. Uh, that was pretty unlucky. Now he's forced to rebuild as well. See what AD is doing. Getting his second advanced fusion reactor up. Still sitting on a lot of metal. Needs a bit more uh, build power. Has two regular fusion reactors. I have some scorpions here, but they're... They're just not the greatest solution for... As we can clearly see, we have some negotiators. This is not going to get repaired. These negotiators do so much damage. And it should be out of the picture. Nope. It goes it goes under. It hides just on time. Uh, yep. That should be it. Bye bye to the scorpion. Those negotiators are pretty good. Very good artillery actually. And pretty cheap as well. It's stealthy. Can it cloak or... Not sure why it's stealthy. But we have a lot of these units for I Love My Cookies. And Spojav assaulting this front line. Swaglord, Zarks, and Goody. Pretty behind from that raid. And this could spell trouble for them. We have some dragons coming in from Ollie. Probably going to stock up on them. And uh, or actually just one for good measure I'm guessing. 20 bombers. That's going to be pretty catastrophic. There's a nemesis as well. That is pretty good. We went over it um, a couple of videos ago. Uh, viewer told me what the nemesis is about. It's like pretty much as a radar. Seismic 2000 range. There's like little little blobs. Like circles. If there is invisible units. It does not like straight out detect them. And it gives you line of sight of them. It just detects that like little... Uh, Seismic movements when they're when they're moving on the ground, which is pretty good. 2,000 range, so you cannot just infiltrate and uh, self-destruct your uh, stun bot at somebody's nuke. Which I actually saw some players do, and it's uh, pretty good, pretty insane. That is, if you do not have this uh, intrusion countermeasure system. Fifth advanced fusion reactor coming from Ollie. That is just insane. A lot of these converters as well. 
He's gonna have more on the way since these advanced fusion reactors just make so much energy. It's overflowing to the entire team, pretty much. Has a good screen of fighters as well. Archie getting some bombers, that is T2 bombers. Is that a Thor? Oh. That is not good. AD has the experimental gantry and just a lot of these Jaguars. Alright here, they're going to try and destroy this advanced fusion reactor. This could be a very big problem. Should try and repair it. If this goes down, that is GG's. Yep, that is pretty much GG's. AD is completely out of the game. Well, not completely, but uh, this is just crazy. He just left the game. And uh, Cygnus just getting another perfect raid off. That was very good. Um, AD just did not want to deal with it and left the game. Pretty unfortunate. But here comes Ollie and Archie with a lot of their bombers. I think that should be it for this game. Yep, that is pretty much it. Alex Clark loses his base completely. This Thor from Skibat. He's been so good with the flanks. That was the, that was the actually the, the Thor that I was looking for. These uh, EMP missiles. Goody. Uh, that should be done with. Yep. That should be. Oh. Almost. Almost. There's another one here. But nope. Barely survives. There is still two bombers here. Which could destroy it. Pretty much. Uh, one goes down. Second one goes down as well. There's still this Thor. 12% HP. Skiba, it's gonna get degunned, but that is still fine. Destroys a lot of economy, and here come the here come the jaguars. That's completely running the enemies over. That is pretty unfortunate. Another Thor on the way. Some more bombers as well, and this should be GG's. We should see a forfeit come out any time now. There we go. That's the advanced fusion reactor. It goes out. Resign comes out, everybody agrees, and that should be it. That's the forfeit from the enemy team. Very well played. Actually, from both sides, Zarks had some good invasions here. and uh, But unfortunately, these, um, these Marauders from Skibat uh, were just too much to deal with. They ran around the entire map, destroying the economy, and it was just too big of a difference. Uh, too big of a unit production difference. They were just supposed to rebuild. They could not build any units. They could have, but that would be very slow. They should rebuild first. And obviously, I was just complete domination from the North team. Very well played. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.